to share with you a Bible story about being a servant to others and what that means. So this Bible story comes from John 13, 1 through 17. And it talks about um, just before the Passover festival, when Jesus was, was with all of the disciples, he um, took off his outer robe that he was wearing, wrapped it around his waist, and he began going to each of the disciples and washing their feet. And at first you may think, that's a little weird. Like, why would he be washing their feet? But back then in that culture, that was a big deal. When they would go into someone's house, um, the practice was that you would wash your feet before entering um, because they wore sandals and they lived in an area that was really dusty. Um, so their feet oftentimes would be really dirty. And that was just a common practice back in that culture was to wash feet. But for Jesus to go around and do that was a big deal. He was like a celebrity to these disciples. They, they knew that he was so special and they followed his teaching. And Jesus replied, I have set you an example that you should do as I have done for you. Very truly, I tell you, no servant is greater than his master, nor is a messenger greater than the one who sent him. Now you know these things. You will be blessed if you do them. So how does this story apply to our lives right here and now? For me, I understand it as having a servant's heart towards others. You may think to yourself, what does that mean, having a servant's heart? Being a servant to others simply means um, not focusing on what you can get out of the situation, but showing love to others, doing things for others, and just simply caring for them is putting others before ourselves. And that can be really hard to do. That takes a lot of patience sometimes to put others before ourselves. That means um, sometimes doing things that we might not feel like doing, but we know in our hearts that they need to be done um, because maybe someone else needs help and we are, maybe we're too tired to do it or something, um, but helping them anyway. That is being a servant and having a servant's heart. So today I want you to think about some ways throughout the days following how you can have that heart like to how Jesus had when he was washing the disciples' feet. What can you do maybe for your parents or your siblings uh, to help them out and let them know that you love them? So that's our story for today. And one quick update. Starting July 5th through August 14th, we're going to be having what's called Camp in a Box, where we put together activities, games, Bible stories, all sorts of different stuff for you. Um, and you're able to receive a new box for six weeks of all of these different things in them. If you'd like to learn more about that, um, you can contact or message me here on YouTube, and we can get that information to you as well. Look forward to hearing from you and have a great week.